we were about eight months pregnant, seven and a half months pregnant with our second kiddo. And um, we had a three-year-old daughter and um, she was about as boring as you can get for a kid. I mean, I think maybe she had a rash one time when she was real little. I mean, she, she just, everything was easy with her. The pregnancy was easy, um, I think. It was easy for me. <laughs> Um, but everything was easy, and that, that was just kind of what we expected the second time around. You went in for an appointment, just a regular appointment one day, and, mm -hmm. and what happened there? With those routine monthly visits, they you know do all sorts of measurements, and I actually was measuring a month behind in growth. Um, and so basically I was four weeks behind in growth, which triggered her, my doctor, our doctor, to have a specialized ultrasound to really check the baby's growth and kind of see where things were at. Just kind of, let's just take tabs and see if this is just anything to be concerned about. Just a couple days later, we, we went to just get a regular ultrasound. Mm -hmm and confirmed that, yeah, the, the baby wasn't developing um, at the rate that, that it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so then we got referred to the high-risk um, pregnancy doctors in, in St. Mary's. When the doctors take that pause and they say, okay, your baby is measuring under 10% of the national average of this growth. And when babies are under that growth amount, that flags some pretty red flags. I mean, I think honestly, there was a little bit of fear that, you know, there might be a chance that we don't meet this little, little person. Mm -hmm. We decided to find out um, mm. that it was a baby girl so we could be specifically praying for her and mm. to, to, to at least for me know her in the amount of time that I may have only been given, mm. we've been given. Some of the risks that they were concerned about were um, chromosomal def um, deformities, so you know, Down syndrome or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Um, worried that the baby wasn't getting enough nutrients from the placenta and that can create a bunch of problems mm -hmm. um, and there was there was a higher risk of, of being stillborn at that point so mm -hmm. so that that I think that's when the the fear for us for for me anyway it was at its peak I mean I I really personally had to walk through okay God what what is going on here I mean how am I supposed to walk through this? How am I supposed to lead my family through this? And it was just a really, it was a really tough time. Mm -hmm. We felt, or and I felt, extremely helpless. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> as a mom and as parents, you want to fix it and you want to make it all beautiful and magical in the way that you've pictured having and growing and raising this family and I think that's what's even in parenthood um, so challenging that God uses to call us to him to say trust me <clears throat> trust me through this you have to trust me in this moment and that's mm -hmm. what you know we really after struggling for some time um, several weeks into this I mean really started to surrender the things that we worried about began to be replaced with trusting the sovereignty of God and that He holds not only, you know, this baby's life in His hands, but our mm -hmm. lives too. And, mm -hmm. and that became kind of our prayer. Well, then she grew. And I think in it all, having this small child, um, there were no abnormal deficiencies with her chromosomes there was um she was proportionate just tiny <laughs> well and that just i mean tiny. <laughs> i think that brings up a good point too because mm -hmm. the doctors asked us a couple times like do you do you want to have tests to find out if mm -hmm. if the baby has you know down syndrome or any of these other other mm -hmm. issues and for us i think that even was a test of faith to say you know what um 
God's got this, and mm -hmm. finding that out doesn't really change the game for us. Mm -mm. It wouldn't change how we would parent and love this child. Yeah, by the time we actually got to delivery date, she, she was, was small. Small, but, but just, out of the... Yeah, and so therefore everything. that was just going to be a normal induction. And mm -hmm. Our beautiful daughter, Ella, yep. Claire, Ella was Claire. born in November. Healthy. Perfectly healthy. Didn't need any other type of support. Tiny. We were yeah. able to transition beautifully and take mm -hmm. her home within two days. I mean, it's miraculous. Facing our fear, or my fear specifically, through this um, is very simple, is trust God. God can use fear in your life to build your faith up and to, mm -hmm. and to show you in ways, show you who He is, show you His character in ways that you you wouldn't be able to see if you just always played it safe or you never had to walk through those moments in your life where where you had fear that you had to walk through. <laughs> mm -hmm.